ba da da ba da ba da 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 I don't know what to do next or what to say next. So anyway, while they're, we're waiting for our runners to start, um, just going to sit back and relax. And I probably should say... <laughs> It's going to be very interesting to what strategies our um, cough cough runners will use. Okay, we have spare time screen. Or. Or I. Hmm. Uh, okay, we have our. Have the stream on perfect. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, we're set. I can see both runners' screen. Okay, now that everything is in place, we have. So, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. We have our two runners today, Spear Time and Ward Sayer. Good luck to both of our runners because it's either go go it's either go home go big or go home. Basically, that is it. Okay, going to sit back and relax now. Cool. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay, they're starting. Perfect. Perfect. I... I... Okay. Okay. So, Ward Slayer is going to actually wait for three and a half minutes now. So, that's what's kind of happening. Because, again, Spear Time is a physical runner. Ward Slayer is just going to chill in the, um, the main menu. Okay, hey, now that we have spear time going in the main menu, starting at 35 seconds instead of the normal 25 or 26 or maybe even 27. Basically, basically, basic movement here. Going dash mailing through every door. Well, no, and not every door. So, basically, we have this dude named The Atom. He tells us where to go. By the way, it's really annoying. We're going to actually put him on, um, voicemail right now. We're actually going to put him on voicemail pretty soon. Anyway, we can hear the clean game audio. So, practically, 
He's going to move up the climb and basically wants to shoot missiles at stuff because, again, meleeing or beams are really weak. Missiles are better. Going through the Elaine cutscene, meeting the broken enemy called Elaine. So basically, normally what speedrunners would do there is do something called a pseudo wave. We can't do that in that category. Believe it or not, the, no glitches are allowed. No glitches are allowed. Basically now he's going to use his new Omega Can weapon to defeat Elaine. Elaine is the only name that sticks. So yeah. So now that Elaine is dead at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, he's going to shoot the door. Wordslayer only has to wait one more minute. This will this load will hopefully equalize things between runners, but again, this is a go go home or go win or go home scenario or such. Okay, now that he now we're about to face the white Emmy. He can't crawl through the hole, and you can't kill him either! <laughs> Basically, he's going to try to get away, and now he's going to slide through a hole where the white enemy can't actually get to him. And, he, and Spear Time's just going to spin around and spam... Now he's going to do a bunch of ledge hops. And spear time is about to start. I mean, I'm sorry, board slide. I'm sorry. I'm in a complete mess tonight. Please forgive me. So yeah, board slayer is starting, and um, yeah. Basically, normally we do something called Corpius first, where we kill the Corpius boss, who's the worst boss in this game. The, oh my word, that is that's not good. Basically, the Abby decided to be a real jerk and block the door. No one likes it. Basically, we can't do Corpius first because again, the word glitch implied. And now he's just going to jump through the water as many times as he can, because again, jumping through water instead of walking is slower, is faster than walking. No one, no, neither of our runners is going to do cloakless, because again, cloakless is a terrible trick! And cloakless is really hard. And believe it or not, it's like a two second time save. It's that difficult. Again, Going the intended way the devs wanted us to. By the way, this would be the route we would use an intended percent. Come <laughs> here. Yeah, and just, I should be on comms. Okay. Sh Spirit time going to be doing water pot skip. Ooh, missing. Please get off. Good. Second try is very good. Again, getting the charging at 5 minutes, 29 seconds. Basically, stuff you should know about charge beam is that... Charge beam basically can be used to quick... Basically, one of the things that we can use with quick charge... Charge beam is that we can quick charge off the ground. Basically, you can either quick charge in the air, or you can quick charge on the ground. And we can basically abuse that to kill enemies faster. It's not considered a glitch, we're allowed to use exploits. As long as it's a only movement manipulation, only is all. But yeah.
Now spare time is going to go into something we call the David Jaff room! <laughs> Imagine if David Jaff was in chat! <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious, bro! We have completely made a video out of him! Um. Anyway, Word Slayer not getting trolled by the Emmy! <laughs> Got it! Oh, man. Anyway, Spear Time actually grabbing the David Jaff through Missile Pack. And now he's going to talk to the Atom again. Because again, we can't skip these unless it's free sync. And again, no glitches allowed! <laughs> yada yada now. So basically, Board Slayer is going to do Water Pot Skip. Very nice. He got it first try. And now we can't do Magnus here because the point of Magnus is to actually um destroy the blob. We already did that the first way through. What would Slayer what would Slay What would Worst Slayer's time be? 37. That would be a 510 charge if the thing didn't happen, but again, we want to equalize the competition. Five thirteen, but it doesn't matter because again, we're having a physical versus digital runner. Not very fair because again, apparently having a um game cartridge to run this game is actually horrible. Spirit time, Ward Sayer is going to grab the first D tank, and now Spirit time is going to actually kill the White Emmy, and that looks like a successful kill. And now. Yeah, so now that Spear Time's about to grab the Spider Magnet, Wordslay is actually making his way into the Emmy. So, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my word, that is so unfortunate. Oh my gosh. Wordslay are getting lucky with the parry there. And now Spear Time is about to go fight Corpius. Basically, he's going to fight the worst boss. This boss has insane RNG. If Spear Time gets a headlock, then that's really good for him. Now that Spear Time is going to fight Corpius, he's going to shoot his mouth as many times as he can, which would be 12 in this case. And now because Corpius is an actual jerk, and um, he's going to like, turn invisible. He's now, what Spear Time has to do is guess where his head is, and he has to actually shoot his head. Corpius not being very nice. He looks... Go and going to phase two because three three because he is one missile. So anyway, spirit time grabbing the fan clock eleven minutes one second, and I wouldn't say I'm talking to Adam. So yeah. Mhm. Mm sure. Okay. He's grabbing the final missile pack in the cloak door. Now, I don't know if Spirit Time does elevator D boost, but he might. If he does, then that's excellent. Because, um, hopefully we don't see anyone take the um, rail of shame today. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That, that is a very 
I have not seen that setup used by anyone. I might personally try that. Congrats to Spear Time. Spear Time is very goaded. For, for, that setup is very unusual. And it's also in the fact that it's effective is really good. That setup's like really effective. Okay, Spear Time doing Word say you're doing a different kill. This kill is just fine. It's a little bit slower, but a lot safer. <laughs> because again, we don't want anyone to die to the white enemy. That would be horrible. So, now that we have Spear Time in Tatteris, and now he's going to talk to the final Atom. He's going to talk to the final Atom, right? So, he's going to go through and text smash. Meanwhile, Wordsay is slowly making his way to Corpius. Remember, Spear Time has the upper hand because he's playing on physical, so he has that three minute advantage to keep him cozy. Wish, wish our luck to both runners. And such. Now going to the first thermal switch. Ooh, not make quite making the parry. Quite unfortunate. I'm pretty sure you can use missiles to clear that if you miss. That's what I kind of... Well, now that we're going to make it to Corpius. And such. Making sure to aim all his shots. Ooh! He almost got a headlock. He's going... Oh, he's trying to gamble for one. That might work. Yep, that works. So how that works is that if you manage to phase Corpius at the end of phase one while he's spinning, his head will lock into place, ending the fight really quickly. It's awesome. So yeah. Okay, now that Sword Slayer is- Spear Time, I'm very sorry, Spear Time is in the Emmy Zone, getting no bad spawns, thank goodness. So, Spear Time is in the Emmy Zone now. Ooh, interesting play, Sword Slayer is actually taking the rail of shame. Not a bad call, especially during a tournament race, where if you're like, Oh no, what, is this gonna happen to me? Just, just taking the six second time loss, I, I actually very much respect that choice. Taking bottom route too, for spear time, it is faster to take top. Now spear time is going to go to the second thermal station. And now, with that being said, he has activated the rail, which is needed to progress, because again, there's no way to climb that without any special tools, because we do not have the, um, Shinesing Trinity, or whatever it's called. And there's a really funny name for it, the Shinesing Triforce, the Shinesing Trinity. That's, that's not relevant for this cat, but it is relevant for this game. Now that we have the thermal station, um... Interesting move, meleeing the fly, you can also scream in over it, but... Meleeing the fly is- Okay, now we have the trick that we shall call the Great Equalizer, the, the trick that changes everything. It's called the Atom Save Skip, or the A dot the S dot the S. Missing it a couple of times. Basically, you need to get two buffered wall jumps into a melee to a frame perfect respin to barely grab that magnet. This trick is incredibly tough. The fact these runners are attempting it is is huge. Hey. Man, that looks good. Oh no, I jinxed him. 
Oh man, words they are missing up a boost. This is not good. Words they might actually be able to catch up. This this should be in for an interesting race. He's barely missing that. He's really close. Chat, give your best luck to Spear Time because we all want to make the, we all want to send the dual back. Come on, please, Spear Time. Spear Time. Spear. I mean, Spear. Yes, yeah, Spear Time. Please. Get, just grab onto the magnet. You. <laughs> oh man, this is not good. I can't even imagine how Spear Time is feeling because it is so stressful to do this trick in a race. It's. Oh man, this is not good. The. Oh man, that was really close. Oh my word. He can do it, right? Chad, give him your luck. Give him your power. Make the slope go away. Or better yet, give him the high jump boot. Oh man, this is so rough. Ward Sayer is catching up. This is not good for Spear Time at all. He. Oh man. This is so rough. He, that was really good. Yeah. He's, man, he's really good. Oh my word. This 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 is tense. This is so tense. Oh man. We know Spear Time can do this. Man, Ward Sayer has beat up so much ground. This is not good for Spear Time. Oh man. Well, let's hope he can get in the next five to ten attempts. Oh man, that was that was pixels away. <laughs> Again, this trick, Spear Time, just showing everyone how brutal this trick is. Yeah, like, man, this trick is just incredibly tough. Now, Word Sayer's about to approach on Adam Skip. Oh man, I can't imagine the frustrations or feelings. Oh man, this is really close. Let, let Spear Time get this before Ward Slayer, Ward Slayer does. This trick is incredibly both tough for both our runners. <laughs> oh man. They're both doing Adam's Skip at the same time. Yo, let's go! Spear Time gets it! Oh man. Wow. That was. Spear Time just put on a show. It is going to be incredibly tough for Spear Time to win due to the fact that he has a physical copy of the game. Spear Time's just going to make up ground. Word Sayer's just going to make up ground by just whoa. Getting to the thermal switch at 1949. Oh man, this is so tough. Hope Word Slayer gets it. Oh man. Adam Skip proving to be very tough. Oh man, I thought that looked good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Ward Sayer chose to skip Adam Skip. Honestly, that's not unheard of. That's not unheard of to skip Adam Skip, but it it would be a, a four minute time loss if you did Frozen Artaria. Okay. Ward Sayer and Spear Time about to high five. That looks really clean. Oh man, let's hope Word Sayer gets it in a timely manner in like the next 20 tries. That looks good. Oh man, I just think I just think both commentators curse. Commentators curse. <laughs> oh man. Let's just hope Fear Time gets Word Sayer gets it. Please chat, wish Word Sayer your luck. Sheer Time grabbing the second E tank. <laughs> this match! Oh my word. Poor. Oh man, that was so close. Oh my word. That was also so close. Must be incredibly strong. Oh man. Please, word sayer, I believe in you. Just grab onto the magnet. <laughs> grab onto the magnet. <laughs> This is such a fun match to commentate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what's going through the track. 
Weird type, are you okay? <laughs> <clears throat> what a hectic night! <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> so terrible. Man. At this point, it's not even. I mean, oh man. This. What an interesting comeback. This is just proof how hard Adam Skip is. Some of these attempts are really close. That one should. Oh my word. I. He's off by pixels. Again, this is a frame perfect trick, a triple frame perfect trick without the wall jump. Both of these, I believe in both of these runners to climb the dual magnets. Oh man, this is, I can't even be, I don't even, I can't even put my feet, I can't even put myself in Ward Slayer's shoes right now or either of these runners shoes. Oh man. Okay. Now Spear Time is going to make his to do wide beam, which should actually be called um spacer. It must be a glitch in the code or something. It's always called spacer and it will always be spacer. And I Okay. Oh man, that's so close. Please he spent four minutes on this. This is this is so oh my word. He, I believe in I believe in the power for Word Slayer to get this. That is so close. This trick is so cruel. This trick is incredibly cruel. Making it to wide beam at 2349. Oh man. This is the worst way to perform in a race. This is so, oh my gosh. He's barely missing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, he... It's like these are pixels off. He's gonna- one of these is going to make. Now that Ward's- Oh man, that was it. Now that Ward Slayer- Spear Time has encountered the, um, Yellow Emmy. Now that he's encountered the Yellow Emmy, he's going to make his way back to Catarus to grab the Morph Ball. Which is not traditionally placed. It should be your first item, but instead, Dread actually makes the tradition of more fall bombs first. Fun fact! Oh man. It's not oh man. This is he Lord Slayer's got this. Give him your lock. Give him your power. Make the dual magnet come. I believe in Ward Slayer right now. Give him all your luck. He must be feeling really flustered because, oh man, th this is the word. Oh man, this is. I can't even begin. This is the. Oh man, I can't even imagine the outcome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Please give him an Adam in the deck like ten tries. That was close. <laughs> oh man, this. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh man. Oh man, that was so close. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> All of these have looked really close. Oh man, that's so close. He chat chat make word give word slayer the high jump boot. Give him the ability to climb, ascend, and climb the dual mag. Oh man, that was so close. Okay, fair time about to kill the green Emmy. And the green Emmy is down. Now that the green Emmy is down, 
Spear time should have the morph ball. Oh man, that this is so horrible to want. <laughs> horrible to want. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a go comic scanner. Now that spear time has the morph ball. Spirit Time now can roll through these small holes and progress. Oh man. This is this is this is insufferable. <laughs> man. You can't even. I can't even. Oh my word. Word say you got this. I believe in you. Just get up there. You are so close. Man, he must be really stressed. Yeah. You are so close. Word say you are so close. You got this. Oh man. Okay, War Spear Time has entered the red teleporter. And now he's going to go back to Artaria and um, have a backtrack of the game to grab some stupid suit that allows us to survive a couple hot rooms. And then that is practically of no use, other than reducing damage. This is... man. Take a second. Stretch... okay. I respect this choice. Okay! Man. I understand doing this. I completely understand doing this. I believe Justin Zane did this in the Any% Energy Tournament. That is not the worst choice. In fact, I very much... I like this play. Because if you're not going to be able to nail Adam Skip at all, this is the better option for you, I think. And basically, this is the way the devs want you to go. So, this is what Adam Skip avoids in such... ...in that you're able to climb these dual magnets. And now you have to talk to Adam. And it's going to be really annoying because each Adam conversation here from, um... Oh, man. Or say you may want to do early space, because if you do early space, you'll be talking to less atoms, and you'll skip the one in Berenia. After Gravity Suit, you'll be skipping the one in Bart. You'll be skipping the one after Screw Attack. You'll be skipping the one in Hanubia. You'll be skipping five atom conversations. It may be in his... Oh, man, he got the Goomba Abbey spawn. Oh, man. So basically, that is a really bad spawn. Basically, he can be there, and he can be in a really terrible spot. Okay, Ward, Spear Time taking up the Varia suit now. Basically, Ward Sayer is an, um... Ward Sayer is about to, um... Basically, the Emmy was right there. And because the Emmy's not a Goomba, and, and because with Goombas you can step on them and they'll die, if you step on the Emmy, it will not die. Instead, it will catch you. Oh, man. This is what Adam Skip completely avoids. He parries the Emmy, which is very nice. Oh, man. It would, it would be... It would take... For Word Slayer to win, Spirit Time Word Slayer would need a lot of stuff, bad stuff, to happen to Spirit Time. Which is going to be really hard at this point, but you never know. Oh, man. That's so awful, man. I can't even imagine skipping Adam Skip completely. This is... Oh, man. This is oh man, I feel so bad for both of these runners. I don't blame them if they want to forfeit or something because again,
now that spare time has um killed the Igor. We're about to see a a person called the Evil Big Green Time Waster. Their name is actually Crane. Meanwhile, Spirit Time is going to spam missiles into his mouth. Okay, Spirit Time got nails, that is very nice. And that is the bad RNG we want to completely avoid. Now what Spirit Time is going to do is completely quick charge the mouth. Now Spirit Time is going to spam beams into the belly. Because that is the best way to um get onto the magnet. Now, Spirit Time is going to climb up. And, um. Spirit Time is going to climb up. Oh man. Spirit Time falls off. That is horrible. Spirit Time wanna keep spamming the belly. Hey, Crane is down. Okay, Spirit Time is up to grab the diffusion meme, which is the very good item for um defeating Crane. Now that Spirit Time's in Dire on. Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh. Hey, Forsair is getting wide beam now. Oh man, spare time taking taking a dip in the tomato soup. And now this is the second scarier jump because if you fall in the lava on this pet in particular. Okay, making a nice recovery. Okay, nice. Second try. Basically, if you fall down the tomato soup, you have to reload checkpoint. Otherwise, you will die. And you'll lose a whopping 40 seconds. And such. Oh man. I feel so bad for Word Sayer. I feel so bad for both of these runners, honestly. This is. What's the saying in? I believe it's Spear Time's Race to Lose or something? I don't know. Crack me in chat. Feel free to crack me. Okay, Spear Time now getting the grapple beam. And such. So, yeah. Another. Okay. Basically, now that he's grappled, he can pull himself up to the blue magnets. 
and we we actually want to grab this early because going back to Artaria later in the run to grab this is really slow unless you're doing Saz. Okay, Ward Slayer taking out the central unit. Hey, Word Slayer taking down the Green Emmy. Now he has Wolf Ball. Ooh, looking a little low there on health. Driving the health drop being very smart. Here's 64. Oh, that is horrible. Getting the really bad spawn. Actually having to use the Phantom Cloak for its intended purpose. Oh, getting... Oh, man, that's... That's, like, really low HP. Playing it very safe. Being very smart. Making sure things die. I would... I would personally be a fan of that, like... Especially when you're, like, on 19 HP. Because things in this game can seriously kill you. Okay, now Spear Time's actually making the second generator. We're about to grab more fall bombs. Your time go about to make it the bombs. Now what he can do is blow up bomb blocks and access bomb launchers, which is necessary for beating the game. Without glitches, of course, because with glitches it's actually possible to skip bombs, but you need to do skew shenanigans, and that's not relevant! Basically, grapple is about to allow us to do something else. Take a shortcut, and we can actually grab a missile pack on the way, which is actually in the path. Word Slayer is about to grab the Varia suits. Now that Word say Spirit Time is in Brenia. He's now going to use Grapple to um open a shortcut. 
And um, that allows us to skip slogging in water. Okay. I don't know if any of these runners will come back or flash, but we have, um, we have three time going the intended route. Words there are getting very terrible, aren't you, on Craig? And now, Spirit Time's nuts to pick up the best item in the game. It's called the Flash Shift, and it allows us to zoom and teleport up times. And then the Aeon Gauge dies. Okay, that's a really- oh, man. Beer time just mashing out the ballot. I mean, word sayer. Oh, man. Using two Oh, man. That's- I didn't even see that. Word sayer getting the cutscene. Oh, man. So, if you take a melee counter, and then you fire missiles, missiles do really low damage! So essentially it's a time waste. Again, this 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 game being very normal. Okay, Word Sarah is about to get the diffusion beam. Okay, spear time's going the intended routes. Now is the flash shift, he should be out. And Word Sarah just picking up the fusion beam. Okay, with the very long loading screen physical provides, um, now we're back in Dairon! The factory area! Now Spear Time is going to use this power-up to actually teleport across the map. And now he's about to go into the enemy zone door. Now he's going to use his new power-up to zoom away from the Emmy. And the flash shift is a very useful power-up because it allows for really cool movement and it's all objectively the best item in the game. We're also gonna get the second best item in the game pretty soon. After Spear Time is going to kill the central unit. After Spear Time breaks open the shell, he's now going to spam beams. That the central unit's down. He's now going to use his Omega hand to break open the door. And now the Emmy is down for Ward Sayer. And now he's going to get his rocket boosters called called the um he's get his rocket boosters called the speed booster. Also, Spear Time just got the or Zare got the grapple beam. I'm so confused. Oh man. Oh. 
Now that he's the speed booster, I think he's now going to basically the speed booster is really cool for movement. It it, it I really love how the speed booster has been designed in this game because it allows for moves such as um wall kicking or shine sparking or even shine sparking off the ground. Spear time has the E tank now. Now when he's going to make it way to Frania. And I'm very sorry. I'm I'm exhausted. Okay. So now that spare time oh man. I forgot words there didn't do Adam skip. Oh my gosh. I am Oh, uh... Oh man. Okay, the green, the yellow enemy's not in the bad spot. Okay, Spear Time just entered Frenia. And now he's going to. I don't know if he does the Quiet Rep Speed Keep. He's not going to do it. I, I understand this play, which is again, fine. Hey. He's now about to fight QR Bot. Again, plot twist in the story, folks. He basically murdered Quiet Row, but now we're going to kill him with two Shine Sparks. Half of his health gone. He's going to do the same thing again. Quiet Row being bot being trolled by shooting at spare time. Okay, now he's Shine Sparks stored. Very clean. Indeed. Wordsayer is about to get bombs. Oh man, going too far in the fan. And wall kicking and maintaining his speed. Man. Okay, basically what's going on now is now that we, um, basically now we're going back to Brandia because Quiet Rove opened something for us. And Warsay is about to make his first trip to Brandia. Okay, so I I don't even know if they made the hole in one. Hey, okay. nice man or more. Okay, nice. He so Ward Slayer used the Phantom Cloak to basically avoid detection from the laser enemy, because again, the laser enemy can actually hurt you in this case. If it was Dreadnought, it would that strap Oh man. Skipping Adam Skip being basically being trolled for skipping Adam Skip. That that has to be the Oh, you know what? 
Spirit Time was trying to do. He was trying to do a jump into a morph, and he's trying to speed through the tunnel, which saves like three seconds, I think. Missed it, unfortunately, but that's fine. Okay, Spirit Time actually meaning to. Oh man, Spirit Time getting doored. Basically, now he's going to actually keep his speed. That is an interesting play. Okay, Spirit Word Sayer is going to actually attempt to attempt back to flash. Basically, you need a rhythm of 150 beats per minute, making that look very trivial. That is not easy, by the way. That is also very hard, too. Basically, you need to lay your, do a horizontal bomb jump, so that way the shutter door doesn't detect you. You need to do, you need to do, you need to lay your bombs at a rhythm between 146 to 151 beats. The preferable beats 150, I think. Okay, now we have Joe Giga, aka Underwater Spore Spawn. Spirit Time is going to spam the tentacle with missiles, and it's going to charge shot the um. Now Spirit Time is going to do something called one cycle draw, not getting in quite enough missiles in. Okay, this may look fine. Um, that is a way to do the kill. I think what Spirit Time wanted to do is actually take the parry. Because right now, Spear Time is very low on health, which is not good for the next boss because the next boss has the power to kill you. What we all need, right? Running low on health because, again, using the Phantom Cloak. Spear Time may want to take the health refill. Okay, he's fine. Oh, oh my. Okay, spirit, spirit Time is now going to the Underground Forest, where apparently the sun exists. It does not... Or Sarah's about to um, grab the speed booster, I think. Ooh. It's 17 health. She's trying to be very careful right now. Going to wait for the enemies to parry them. He's going to parry the um, tongue, and now he has 153 health. Not ideal, but it will work. Now he's going to use a shine spark on Gav Robo, and now he's going to missile spam it. You seriously do not want to get hit by these attacks because they will, they will deal. And then using the flash shift to dodge the boss, dodging that charge shot. Now dodging, nice, taking the parry to get a little bit of a health refill. Just keep spamming missiles, and now he's dead. And now Spear Time get, is getting the drops. Or Sayer, meanwhile, is going to get the, um... The super missiles. Actually, the speed boost. I'm sorry, Spear Time's about to get super missiles. Getting two flashes. Now he's going to speed boost to kill the crab. Get past the atom room, which will spear time, which will word say we'll have to talk to. No. <sighs> okay, now that spear time is about to get the pocket nuke. Okay, now that the spirit time has super missiles. Okay, super missiles. Basically, these missiles do 300 damage, but they have slower cooldown, meaning it's a DPS loss. However, it's needed to open super missiles door, and we're also needing it to use to go to Elon Moss to progress. Okay, now Ward Sayer grabbing the E tank. Very respectable choice. Doing some flash change to get up. And now he's going to use his speed booster to break through the wall. 
and such. Okay, now it's three times an Elon Musk. So basically, the door closed. Basically, you need to know about this place is that it's not the cutscene that triggers the X, but it's actually that Morphal Launcher. And now he's going to climb away through with all the Chozo statues. So basically, we have the X. What a plot twist, man. The X are alive? Yeah, yeah. They didn't blow up on the BSL station after Fusion, by the way. Okay, now that Spirit Time has the Plasma Beam, he now can shoot through enemies, and also robotic enemies. Also, this beam does 150 damage, compared to Wide, which is 75. Now that Spirit Time, um has gone through, he's now going to face his first Chozo Warrior. Now he's just going to shoot beams countless times to hopefully kill him. And now phase one is down. That was great. Now he's just going to keep spamming beams as many times as he can. So basically, now that Spirit Time has exited um, Elon, almost actually, he's going to run into this enemy and shoot the door. And now he's going back to the elevator. Okay, the stream froze. Okay, I thought he was like waiting for some reason. IDK. So yeah. So that's awesome. Now we have to wait for this extra long load now. Poor, poor Ward's there having to actually not make Adam shut up. And unfortunately, I'm out of this non voice. Oh man, falling down. I'm as of sadly not on voicemail this run, which is extremely unfortunate that he had such an accident at Adam's skip. We never want those to happen. So to such. Now that we're back in Gav, the underground forest, we're actually going to go to the Ice Missiles! Now for Great Equalizer number 2, which would be Spirit, which would be Wordsayer's chance to catch up. This is where we get to make Adam stop and be on Wordsayer! <laughs> Basically what the Emmy can do now is he can freeze you. Unlike the yellow Emmy where he can actually go- He's actually named Satan! Thanks, Art! So stick- So, Bluey, um, can freeze you, and he's really annoying. Okay. So your time setting up this ET. Very well done! And we have one glitchless early eyes! Wow, Spear Time. That- Honestly, that's phenomenal! Being out of Great Equalizer number two. Currently, it is Spear Time's race to lose. And now he's going to use a Shine Spark, but the Shine Spark will delete the Cough Puff Shell. Unfortunate, both runners are our runners completely missing the young thing. So, yeah! Now he's going to keep. Now we're saying he's going to keep doing some boost in to um, hopefully make the ball. Nope, he did not make the ball spark.
Now, Jitter Time's actually going to kill the ice on me. Now. And such. Oh, man. The little dude giving him... Oh, man. Okay, backing up. Do we look? Okay, he looks good. Nothing to fear! <laughs> okay. Spear time. The blue Emmy is down for spear time. Now Ward Sarah is on Drogaiga. Now that we have ice missiles. Shooting the tentacle many times. Okay, successful one cycle frog for both of our runners. Now that. Word Sayer may want to do early screw because, again, it's probably better to do that with no item skip. Okay. We're time going to Frozen Artaria now. Now you can use another death intent sequence break. Not a glitch for once. So and such. Now using the green teleporter to go back to Brandy. How strange. Why would he need to go back to um Waterland? AKA ready on. So now we have to now. Kind of yeah. So. How unfortunate race to just be just completely decided by Adam Skip. That that is that is that is that is the worst thing that could have happened to any runner. Oh man. Just oh man. I just both runner Word Sayer must be in complete shambles. Currently Spear Time has the upper hand. Okay, nice. He breaks the speed blocks. Oh, that's oh, Chinese barking straight into the water. And now Word Sayer happens to talk to another Adam who refuses to shut up. Because again, Adam sucks! Adam sucks! Hey. Now spare time is up. Just eat his magic pancakes for dinner. How yummy. How yummy those magic pancakes are. Grabbing the gravity suits. Basically now, we have the gravity suit and such. And now... Sandbot, I'm sorry, I just disconnected for no apparent reason. I am back. <laughs> that was so part of the plan, right? <laughs> <laughs> Get to him, chill to some elevator music. We get to chill to some elevator music while going down to the elevator back to our target. Right, we should be able to grab the screw attack pretty soon, which would be really nice because we we, we specifically need to grab screw attack to basically go to Hanubia because our 
screw attack blocks by Golzuna's arena. Except the wait. Into the planet pro wait, what? The planet pros? Yeah, what a surprise. Basically, we're now in somewhere called Fart, and everything likes to fart here. It's actually the nickname for Frozartaria! So yeah. And now their speed time's actually going to charge a shine spark. Kill the blob. Um are you Okay, now Chine's marking into it. Now he's going to spray beams, completely killing the warrior. Now he's going to completely spam beams and completely shoot the monster and completely shoot Fart Warrior. Fart Warrior should die by now. And now Fart Warrior's dead. Words are having the plat the the p the p gun now. The really powerful option. Okay. Also, flash checking out of the door 100% is really bad because next time you come through it, wounds are really bad, especially if you're running a physical. Fear time? Like, okay. Oh man, not quite keeping that speed. Avoiding the fart worms, aka da. That is sick mashing from Ward Sayer. Is that like 16 turrets or 17? Okay. Okay. Now that um spare time is in farts, everything is frozen, meaning no doors shall open. The cloak doors are completely useless. He's gonna keep boosting along. And now we're going to actually um do another speed keep here. Get a shine spark across. Very well done. Now we can sit back and relax and listen to um some of our favorite songs or or whatever you want. You could perhaps listen to some nice Metallica such as Ride the Lightning, or you could listen to Battery, or you could listen just to some chill music, or you could listen to some whatever band you want, or you could listen to some Nightwish, which is again I don't know if that's common among us, but again. We all get to chill during the long elevator load. You get to chill to some focus music, or you can just stretch, relax your fingers, take a drip of your um, Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Cherry Coke Zero, whatever you like. Now he's going to fight the boss, Cult Z57, who, by the way, was actually designed by Quiet Room. Very nice. Oh, going for Super GI. Very clean. Very clean. And now what Spear Time is going to do is spam missiles to the head. I believe missiles do 280 instead of 400 because again, there's a 30% damage reduction on Z57, which is dumb because all things do damage reduction in this game. Very nice RNG and kill for Z57. Okay, not quite getting all the claws. Now he's going to go into wind phase. Now we get to play a game called Flappy Bird. Very fun. Play Flappy Bird. Meanwhile, Wordsa is about to get, get the um missiles of the ice. Okay, storing a shine spark. Very clean. So is that shine spark? Basically, Z57 is either at 8,500, 5,000, or I don't know which value. Basically, Z57 dies. And 
That's that. So Z fifty so Shine Spark will pick out Z fifty seven's eight thousand HP, which makes it very useful. Words there now getting the ice missiles. Oh man, barely missing that. Oh come on, spare time you got this. Okay, nice, getting the Shine Spark charge. Going up. Now we're going to go to blue, and we can finally get the screw attack! Because the planet's not frozen anymore. Like, for real. I, okay, I like what Ward Sayer is doing. This is the strategy in route you take when you can't not do Adam Scap. This is exactly what you do. So Word Slayer is actually going to grab Space Gem. Okay, this is the other thing that's actually allowed Glitchless, which makes this interesting. This makes this so interesting. So, now that Spear Time is in, um... For any of. I mean, our sorry, I'm sorry. So now we have the scourge pass. Basically, if you jump the enemy, it will die. Also, on some things, scourge attack is only one fifth effective. So when it takes to do 3,500 damage, it only does 700 damage, which is less than two ice missiles worth. And now we're permanently never coming back to Artari ever again, because we don't even need things from Artari anymore. Okay, very nice. Okay, that looks good. Very clean. I think that was first try, for each or second. I don't know. Chat can correct me on that. Basically, that's a dev intended sequence break where you can do some coyote jumps into mid or morphs to bombs, and then the bomb blocks will break. That's actually dev intended. So, yeah. Honestly. Now that we have space jump. We can actually go underwater, and now Word Sayer is actually going back to Artaria. Either Word Sayer already did this route or doing this because Adam, no Adam skip. Okay, very nice running tower. Now what Ward Sayer is going to, actually going to do is he's going to bomb jump up. Now, I don't know if he'll... He's going to screw attack into the robot because that might actually be faster for a low mash speed. Not saying anything about spare time mash speed, but screw attack making useful work of these bots. Screw attack does five times damage from plasma. Both robots are down. Cool. Don't mind that. Now that Spear Time is going back to green. Now that Spear Time is going back to green, Word Series is actually going to make it to Screw Attack. And what you saw from Spear Time, the ZP7 Heart Warrior. What Warsair is doing is what he does to skip all of that. Okay, interesting. Going top route. Okay, now that Spear Attack and Gav. Now he's going to make it to Golzuna. Basically, how this boss works is he'll go kill the crab. Okay. Oh, barely. Okay. Basically, that sh Shine Sparks do a ton of damage. It wipes out Goliath in 
instantly, the Shining Spark takes out half of Golzina's health. He's going for the Ice Missile Spam. That's fine. Okay. Okay, not good. He took a hit. It's spamming Ice Missiles, which actually do 800 on this boss. Because again, okay, now that Spear Time has the cross bombs, he now can um, propel bombs in the air basically. Okay, now what Spear Time's trying to do is do something called Water Space Jump. Very, oh, interesting. I didn't know if he did that variation. Oh man. It's hopefully played. Okay. Oh man. I'm just trolling. Okay, he's now through. Now, Ward Sarah has the screw attack. Which is, again, with space and the screw basically are unstoppable and such. Oh! Wait. Oh! He can just water space back up. Honestly, I didn't think you could do that. Oh, man. That's so smart. In such a smart recovery move. Now he's going to get out using a shine spark. The difference I between I believe is going to be six to seven minutes right now. Currently, Spear Time has the upper hand by a large margin. Make sure not. Avoiding the missile pack. Very well done. Yeah, now that Spear Time's going back to Friday for the for the last time before we um do something else. Basically we need to get two three more upgrades for Spear and then words we're going to get two more. Because words already visited Friday. Now that we're in front of y'all, we just gotta like, that we gotta now go through the cold room, which gravity super packs us from. Okay, I need to explain what the magic pancakes do. Basically, it makes water disappear, among other things, such as survive cold and do the suit to 50% reduced damage from what I can remember. Nice, using the speedball tech. Avoiding the... Oh man, this is tough. Fear time is really not wanting to get caught. Good, he's almost out. Just a couple more flashes to a couple of ledge grabs, and then another flash, and he's out. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going about to go to a boss that, by the way, is a complete joke and also the Dev can kill! <laughs> now he's going to use one shiny spark, half his health gone! And now just jump into the bug called Bug Fables, aka Ask Shadows Manager right now. 
Now, that's how fast SU dies. SU is a complete joke. He's like there for two seconds. He lasts for two seconds against the Greer attack. Now we have these Storm Missiles, which again do obscene amount of damage. Nice recovery from Spear Time. Now that we have the Storm Missiles, we can lock onto enemies. Each missile, I believe, can do a whopping 450 damage per lock. Multiply that by 5, and you get like 2,000 damage or something. We love we love bugs. We love we love shrimp, right? That bug loves screw attack and shiny sparks a lot. It's especially immune to screw attack. Word Sayer is about to get his magic pancakes. Now he's going to use a super storm missiles to um open the gates, and then he's going to now use a shiny spark to then. Delete half of his health. Delete half of his health on the robot. Now he's going to spray it down with beams and then use a combination and then just use screw. Now. Now bot is dead. He's now going to get his um space jump. Or what we like to call it space junk, because again, sometimes space jump just sucks. And it's really bad. Now he's has space jump. Now that we have space jump, he didn't get locked out. That's actually fantastic from spare time. Now he's going to go get a unstoppable shoot shoot now. Called the wave beam. Shout. Wait, where's where's Spear Time going? Wait, bro, where? Wait, Spear Time. Hello, where are you going? You must have had a moment of forgetting. Okay, that that's totally normal. Wait, where? Okay. Okay. Anyway, that's okay. Now that he's going to use his storm missiles again, which is the biggest reason. Now that now Ward Sayers on Galzuna, Spear Time is now going to um go shoot these blobs, so that way he can get access to again, once again, the essential unit. Okay. Wordsayer killing Goliath, and now he's going to do the Galduna kill. Killing, okay, that's one Shine Spark. You might be able to, okay, that's, wait, Spirit Time. Okay, so basically, the Korax is immune to Screw Attack. Now, Spear Time is going to use his Omega Can. I assume Spear Time goes for the standard kill. The the fast one that's really scary is really hard to do. Okay, Spear Time is going to do the standard kill. Now, opening with a charge shot. Now he's going to use his Omega Cannon to break down the fa Emmy's face plate. This is by far the easiest and most popular kill Emmy wave Emmy kill that's been known. It's really easy to learn. It's really consistent. You have a lot of margin for leniency. Unlike the other one where you can only miss like two shots. Yeah, so now that we have the unstoppable shoot shoot, shout out to one sided dice. Again, who who's who's a phenomenal runner of this game? Basically, we now have the un the wave beam, which again is also the worst weapon in the game. Because again, it sucks to have an RB 
Imagine if there was a way to turn off beams in this game. RB would die in 10 seconds. Trust me on that. Wave beam only does 16 damage apart on RB. Normally it does 80! What a way! Also, ice on RB phase 1 counter does 60 instead of 400, which means regular missiles do more and Y does more. You think Y would be weak, but you do not want to have wave. Now we're going back to Frenia. They're about to high five. Okay. Now we're about to high five. Now that we got to chill through the load screen. Now we're going to use our- no, we're actually going to flash it instead. And now we're going to keep boosting. And now we're about to um go to the plot twist of the game. Turns out, Samus- Samus has a moment instead of, like, you know, using her gun to kill the um thing. She's actually going- she actually was about to use her hand. And now she used her hand to completely destroy the enemy plot twist and dies already, because again, Metroid siphoning powers kill the enemy. Now Screen Pen's going to use a couple of storm missile locks to phase it super quickly because it's then storm missiles do obscene damage. Now he's going to mash Okay, just using storm lock on these warriors. Very smart use of ammo. Hey, now that spare time about to get horrible news. Spare time is about to get the horrible news. But do a bazillion damage. And by the way, they can also kill Chozo Warriors. But all the Chozo Warriors that we basically murdered or massacred are dead. Now Ward Slayer is about to come up on SQ. And the boss is of course gonna last two seconds to Ward Slayer instead. Because again, SQ is a complete joke. Half health gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it's gone. Didn't get the double hit, but that's okay. Now, Word Stare is going. Spirit time, spirit time getting not power bomb scanned, which is what we want to see. Spirit time is up by five minutes right now. That is how much. Adam Skip benefited Spear Time. Adam Skip equalized the race. If Adam Skip didn't happen, this would have been much more interesting. But again, you can just see how cruel Adam Skip really is. Now that... Now we're going to the Gold Chozo, which um, does percent health damage. Which I don't know how to explain. Basically, the more equipment you have, the more damage he'll do, strangely enough. And now he's going to use the Storm Missile to keep doing damage, because again, Storm Missiles are so powerful in this game. He's going to keep using Storm Missiles. Now he's going to use Beams to spam. And now, Ward Slayer is going to spam beams, completely destroy the um, twin Robo Chozos. And now Samus is a, now a Spear Time is about to go kill the bird in the sky, the bird of the family drama, the bird that ruins him, that ruined everything, the bird that wants to worship at the altar of power, the bird that lives in the sky. We call him Raven Beak. Or if it was Thanksgiving, we would call him the Thanksgiving turkey. Like, am I right? <laughs> Getting stuck on that ledge. Where's there kissing the ledge using kissing the ledge again? <laughs> this match has been so fun to commentate. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, missing the shine spark. It's just, oh man. There's a backup you can do there, but you only do that backup if you run boss rush. And I don't blame him for trying to spam ice missile. Oh man. What an unfortunate series turns of events. I, I, I assume spear time is going to do nine plus one. Basically what that is, is that nine plus one is a is a way to do gold skip where you shoot nine missiles into RB and then wait for a counter, then shoot one more and then skip his gold phase. Huh? Wait, he's going into gold phase. Didn't quite make it. So basically this is so basically, what happened there is that you have to mash 15 shots a second. If you do one lock, it's 12.6. If it's zero, if it's two, it's 11.5. If you can mash last than that, you have to like, you know, shoot his shield a bunch. I don't know if Spirit Time knows about 9 plus 1. Now what Spirit Time's going to do is shoot ice missiles into Ravenbeak. He's going to shoot ice missiles a bunch of times. Getting no. We're staying getting the wave me. Basically, you want to shoot ice missiles here because because ice missiles are the best weapon against Raven Beak, not Beam. Because again, no because Beams only do 60 damage apart. Army phase two is dead. Now he's just he's going to do cross arms plus ice. Hopefully, Raven Beak gives him a counter. Doesn't seem like it. Now he's going to blow up the sun with a power bomb. Now he's going to keep doing ice plus cross combination to keep killing Ravenbeak. And such. Avoiding the hyper beam attack. Interesting. Taking the counter. So now Wordsayer is exiting Prania. Okay, Ravenbeak is dead. Very nice fight. That was very good. So now that Ravenbeak is dead for... For, um... Basically, the... Basically... Now that we have RBF... Yeah. Basically, because this is not any kind of restricting, we can just safely use the hyper beam to kill a spree. You can look away, you can press and hold the button, and you can look away. That narcissist shall be dead in five seconds. RBX, of course, being the narcissist, not any of these runners, because our runners are actually phenomenal. RBX is dead for Spears time. So now. Now that Spear Time is going to space jump away, Wordsayer's actually. Oh my word. Wordsayer's mashing is out of this world. Spear Time is just as good. It is actually. Has put, both of our runners have put on a phenomenal show, despite Adam's skip. It would have been much. I, 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 was, I wondered what the outcome would have been if, if Wordsayer had. If Adam Skip went differently for Word's there. That's the best way I can put it. Time should be coming up really soon. Now that we have the power bombs, aka the portable nukes. Basically, if you space jump there, it's used to avoid the cinematic, which is really so. Although it's really cool to be emitted. Okay. Also, we're saying about power bomb now. Time should be now. Actually, die jinx. GGS. Spear time finished in one hour thirty-seven minutes flat. GGS to spear time.
That was quite a raise. GG's to both the runners. Basically, Quiet Rub is the next parasite. <laughs> yeah, now that we are done, now we get to roll fits. I'm gonna. I'm interested to see what strategies Ward Sarah goes for here. He might try Gold Skip. If he does Zero Lock, that would be extremely swag. However, doing nine plus one is just as good. Very good. GGs. Me and our runners want an interview. Okay, now that spirit time is waiting, that must feel. Hey, okay. Wordsayer is going to go into RB, right into RB. Okay. I don't... He might do Scold Skip. Okay, not getting bullied by Raven Me lately. Okay, he's gonna try to do the counter. Oh, man. Okay, can he get this? Oh, man. Barely missing. That's really hard. That's really hard to do. That's like really hard. Basically, that was trying to basically avoid the gold phase Ravenbeak would give you. Basically. Hey. Warsair just mashing beams on RB. Okay, this is an interesting move. So, beams are the same to ice missiles. Only if the beam fire rate is 16 to 17 times a second. Wait, where's there trying to weave? Okay, um... Okay. So, okay. Meanwhile, Spear Time is doing quite a bit of damage to Arby. He's just spraying beams until he dies. Okay, he's just going to tank the Black Hole and the Shine Spark. Okay, Arby is dead for words. Okay, now that, um, Wordsayer's on RBX. Okay, this came down to, like, five to six minutes. This is really good. Pretty, pretty solid match from both of these runners, am I right?
Okay. Now we have escape. Which spare time will do. Which Wordsayer is going to use his Gaul laser to do a bajillion damage to destroy Laurel Walls. <laughs> Man, this match was so fun to commentate. <laughs> GG's. Very phenomenal. Hello. Hello. Well, how how was the match? <laughs> Terrible. Well, yeah. Um, how do you? How, okay, first of all, I have a question. How did you think things were going to go between you and Ward's Bear? I I thought I was gonna get absolutely destroyed and mopped, but I can see why. Yeah. Okay, Wordsayer finishing with a time of 1 hour, 43 minutes, 46 seconds. GG's to both of them. GG's. Well, you played phenomenally. Because, because <laughs> believe it or not, just because you are brought on physical doesn't mean you are going to lose. Because I saw what happened to Wordsayer and Adam's <laughs> Yeah, that was, like... That's the worst ever. Yeah, I understand <laughs> completely skipping <laughs> I mean, I thought mine was bad, but holy... Neat. I mean, you executed really well. <laughs> Thanks, I don't think I did, but um, I guess I'll take it. Well... <laughs> oh man. If Ward Slayer wants to come into commentary, he can. I pinged him already, so he should get the message. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, GG's to both of you. How Thank you. So, as soon as you saw what happened to Ward Slayer when he chose to skip, how, how did you think initially things were going to go? I mean, I was just really devastated for him, honestly. I wanted the race to yeah. be like close and all that and i just was in shock just at adam skip just not working adam skip is a brutal real trick unfortunately yeah. word slayer did not have the power to put him on voicemail today uh -huh. you did though and adam skip making all the difference i also know why he did early space instead of farts yeah, yeah. more adams True. I mean, if Word Slayer wants to tell us about his performance, he absolutely can. Oh man, that was such. I that was such a fun match to commentate. Is Word Slayer in chat? I mean, yeah, I think he's gonna join. Oh man, that. I mean, that was I terrible. I think that was pretty bad for both of us. But you know, if it was I mean, entertaining for people, then. Yeah. I mean, Adam Skip sucks. It, it absolutely sucks. Yeah, you but either get it first try or you just don't get it at all. Man. Hello, words. Dude. <laughs> I hate my life. I'm so sorry, dude. I hate my life right now. I, yeah. It's That's completely so, understandable. So, so here's the thing. This is the second race in a row this exact thing has happened. You know how many times that has happened to me it, this week in practice? Zero. Zero. <laughs> I've gotten it like first or second try every single time since my race on Jeez. Friday. And then same thing again. Like, I think I know what's going, what I'm doing wrong. Cause like I was struggling with it after last week's race. And so, like, I practiced it, figured out some different ideas to, like, make it more consistent. And it was more consistent, but it's just, I, I think I was just too tense going into it. And then, like, as I kept failing it more and more, I just get more and more tense. And then I fall back on faulty muscle memory because this game is weird.
Yeah. <laughs> it is weird. So it is absolutely the weirdest. To explain <laughs> what I think is 99% of my problem. So, you know, in classic Metroid games, when you wall jump, you hold away from the wall and then press jump, right? Mm, well, yeah. this game, you hold toward the wall and press jump, which is like, okay, whatever, I can just do that and then hold away afterwards, similar muscle memory. The problem is, when you hold toward the wall and jump and keep holding toward the wall, the game wants to prevent you from fall going back to the wall, so it actually gives you an extra momentum boost. So if I'm jumping on the right wall and holding right, I get more left momentum if I hold for like a quarter of a second. But my old school Metroid muscle memory is screwing me over because <laughs> I keep instinctively oh. holding away from the oh, wall geez. and that kills my momentum just enough to make it not reach. Jeez. And so it's like I, that, the more the horrible. more I fail it, the more I get frustrated and the more I just fall back on muscle memory and like yeah, it, it's it's a struggle. I couldn't even begin to put yourself in my words, <laughs> like your shoes, like that. That has to be the actually nastiest outcome possible. Mm -hmm. And here's the, the other thing: that. looking at my splits after failing Adam Skip and giving up and getting the lava drain split, I was 14 minutes and 55 seconds behind. I finished. Oh, my 16 minutes and 45 seconds behind my PB. So if you account for like two minutes worth of atoms that I went through, like I kept pace with my PB, which was like insane that's, last night. Yeah, I, really, I got a three minute PB last really night. Good. So it's just like, yeah, the uh, it feels bad to have that good of a run after that bad of an atom skip. It's like, dude, yeah. uh, it's painful. Yeah, I feel you on that. Adam Skip is a terrible, <laughs> terrible trick. Yep. Actually, you know who you should yell at? Sonic Orochi! <laughs> what now? Is that who discovered it? Yep, apparently <laughs> so. He made us all suffer, by the way. Cool. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Also, I He's definitely also didn't do early screw. He's unrestricted, too. <laughs> Jeez. I definitely didn't do early screw because of the atoms. I did it because that's the route I learned I two years ago. And it was just easier to go back to that route since it's a similar time. So I'm just like, yeah, because because I, I never learned frozen arteria movement. So it's just like doing that was was going to be much less reliable than just doing the, the early screw attack like I learned it forever ago. Trying to take risks and try to be greedy during a race, I I personally am not a fan of that because trying to be yeah. greedy and then you mess up well, and then but that's the really thing, happened. that's the <laughs> thing. It wasn't supposed to be greedy. I got it first try literally two hours ago. Like yeah, I, it I was like I it, this, it was literally yeah. sunk cost well, fallacy. It's just like I, well I've been getting this I've been getting it so consistently I got to get it soon and then it just didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> if, if that happened to me, I think I would have forfeited <laughs> yeah but you gotta finish the race yeah at least, yeah though. it's like it's that's 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 just being a poor sport if you don't try to finish the race at least but well, anyway adam, yeah, yeah, adam can be very devastating sometimes he but, yeah. it, he can but either way ggs i am GGs. very satisfied with my progress in the game um i just got to do adam skip more so that i don't do this next time a tournament comes around but yeah. ggs well, it's been fun Back to Star Fox for me. <laughs> well, good luck with whatever you choose to do next, man. That thank you. you, we, I'm, it, I'm the you, you have no, just proved how terrible Adam Skip is. Yep. Yep. You can prove we'll, how we'll, we'll say that was my objective. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's it. <laughs> so anybody that, wants that, to it run? Was, it, yep. it was all specifically for that. Yeah. It was a plan. Uh, but I'll definitely keep keep grinding away at Metroid Dread. I've been really enjoying getting back into the game. Um, it's it's a Dread. really fun speed run, except for Adam. Screw you, yeah. Adam. Then uh, shut Adam shop and put him on voicemail, except you can't yeah. do that all the time. <laughs> he better not be in the next game. Yeah. We, we better we 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 rather have a way to make Adam skip easier, or else I'm going to cry. Yeah. Which, yeah, again, like, I feel like I've nailed down the science of it. It's just getting my hands to do the right thing under pressure. It's, that's, yeah. Especially during a tournament that's, match. I yeah, can't even... Tournament pressure is yep. another level. I mm -hmm. have... I have been... 
Especially with, um, especially with, um, kind of yesterday. What happened yesterday? Um, I raced our candy. Uh, mm. what? Yeah, did, 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 did yeah. Adam skip? I did a lot of stupid stuff, and then I saw yeah. you. was like, come on, man, I could have. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Feels we bad. all hate Adam. Sometimes we all just hate a run in general. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sometimes we all want to scream out the game. Yeah, that's that, speed I can't even begin to put. I can't even imagine how you just felt when it's like, man, why can't I get this? Come on, just get yeah. on. Well, yep. I'm the dual magnet. <laughs> yep. Join the yeah, I literally quit when I felt myself tilting so bad. I'm just like, there's zero percent chance of me getting this anymore because I'm just too tense. And then I think yeah. skipping Adam Skip was actually the perfect choice in that scenario. Also, because... also, I just want to say, how the heck did I lose twelve minutes on Adam Skip, but I parried every single Emmy in the game <laughs> except for the yellow, and I didn't miss one? How does that happen? Wow, magic and RNG. Bad luck and good luck. You know? Yeah, like I think I think the yellow Emmy ironically was the only one that was nice to me today, and uh, somehow I didn't miss a parry. I don't get it. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, anyway, wow. GGs. 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 Speed time. Yeah. Spear time. Good luck on the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Avenge me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will try. We all love Adam Safe Skip, don't we? Ah, yep. Mm. Uh, same thing with GI, because it's like, even with that trick, it can also catch me off guard, and it's like, what am I doing, bro? Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm surprised I got GI first try, honestly. I was expecting to be at there for just as long as Adam Skip. <laughs> you know, yeah. GI, Adam Skip, Glitchless Early Space, Gl GS number two. Any trick that's considered a great equalizer can be really interesting behavior sometimes. Yeah. Definitely. We all love our great equalizers in our races. Oh man. What a what a wild race. Honestly, I was surprised at the outcome. Yeah, I'm surprised it was as close as it was when I yeah, <laughs> all that time. Uh, yeah, I mean, like at that point, like, I'm just like, yeah, the race is over. I lost. It's fine. I I couldn't. I don't know why, but I just couldn't focus. Like after Adam skip, I just couldn't yeah. focus after it. I was just making like such easy mistakes. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I definitely had a couple of those moments where like I think it was the the Dyron elevator. I'm just like, wait, am I going left or right? <laughs> yeah, I think it was. In Ferenia, I almost went back up to the elevator instead of killing the uh, wave at me. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I think yeah. I remember that on comms. And then, yeah, it was just... So anyway, I I'm not sure I'm not sure what it's supposed to ask. Anyway, I'm very sorry you had to go through that word sayer because again yeah. I can't even because again I've been there with Adam, we've all been there with Adam, and it's like Yep, it's just unfortunate. It happens. And I'll 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 get there. I'll learn it. You will. I will learn it and I will stop doing that. And then you'll get it first try every single time. Every time, yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> What's the spear time? <laughs> yeah, is is there any runner who gets it first try every time at this point? I feel like that's a no. Um, not even no, yeah, or or yeah. sat or beat off. Yeah. So we can all collectively say, "Screw you, Adam." We'll see yep. you next mission. <laughs> on Hopefully not. Now. Yeah, they better just retcon Adam for the rest of the series. After yeah, can we just can we just turn off Adam? It's, <laughs> it's just an option. Just turn, turn off our, Adam our, button. Our, that our would three, be really nice. Honestly. Metro Dread 3.0 just says, turns off Adam. Adam, turn off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Adam skip. Yep, the Adam skip skip.
<laughs> um, well, she's okay. Yeah, I think that's everything, though. Yup. Anything else? Uh, yep, I think that's it. GG's. Okay. Good luck. GG's. GG's thank you.